All right, so I wanted to go over some of the gear as I'm getting packed up for uh, this elk hunt that I'm going on, but some of the gear that I normally use. We're actually getting horse packed in this year, um, but my gear didn't really change. I added a little bit of extra food, a little bit of extra clothing, but this is more or less what I would take in on a, on a backpack hunt. We're going in for 13 days, and I'm just going to highlight a few things and then uh, briefly go over other stuff. So uh, this right here is a VF-17 panel. Uh, I use this really just to mark things, whether it be my pack, if I have to drop my pack or flag someone in. Um, this is a, a military panel, but some type of an orange or really bright uh, you know, sheet of uh, material or whatever would be a good idea. Uh, these are dude wipes, because I like to wipe my butt with them. Pretty simple. Uh, this is an in-reach. I would say use this in-reach or a Zolio, one or the other, and make sure it's charged up ahead of time. Uh, this is a uh, Princeton Tech Remix head layup. The reason I like this is when you first hit the button, it's always red. And no matter how many times you hit it, unless you hold it down, then it turns to a white light. So if I'm going in at the, in the dark, I'm not going to blow any animals out potentially if I have to hit that red lens. This is a Sunto, I think it's an M19 or M, yeah, M19 wrist compass. Um, I keep this with me all the time. Uh, this is just my shaving kit. Well, it's not even a shaving kit. It's my contact solution, toothbrush, and uh, some extra contacts, things like that. Pretty Spartan. Uh, this is a Tito or Taito uh, fixed blade knife. What do they call this? The ghost? The air. This is the air. You should probably know that. That's about the only fixed blade, uh, either that or a Marlowe knife. Uh, this is Carbo Mask uh, face paint. Probably won't bring all three, but I'll bring a couple of these. I like to paint my face and hand, especially um, with elk hunting and uh, spot and stock mule deer. Hydro pack four liter bladder. This is my possibles pouch. I've done a ton of videos on this, but I've got cord. I'm actually going to throw this cord in there as well. That's uh, 1.8 and that's 2.3 millimeter guy line. I have trioxane or uh, this is pyro putty, some kind of a fire starter. This is a 701 GP or 601 GPS repair kit, lighter, things like that in there. This is just marking ribbon. Over here, I've got extra batteries and uh, Taito knife blades. On this side is MSR Aqua Tab, and sometimes. I will throw a backup release in there, um, kind of a primary uh, primary and alternate, and then uh, I guess this would be a tertiary. Uh, I keep one in my uh, left side of my bino harness, but then to have a third sometimes isn't a horrible idea just in case. These are just regular uh, Carhartt gloves. They've got fleece on the inside. They're rubberized on the outside. They block the wind pretty good. You got good dexterity. They're relatively inexpensive, but if I'm climbing, these work really well for gripping branches when you're doing the veggie belay. This is my lucky bear beanie hat. Extra underwear, extra socks. Uh, this is the new Born Primitive Lightweight Puffy Jacket. This is the Frontier Pant or the heavier weight pant. That's what I'm bringing in on the elk hunt. This is the uh, thin Merino base layer. That's the thicker one. Uh, this is kind of the lightweight soft shell. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring this in or not, uh, but it's called the Century. Definitely going to bring this. This is the Quiver Fleece. Uh, and this is a Sitka lightweight rain gear. Uh, this is a Thermarest air pad, and I cannot remember the name of it. I bought it when I was up in Alaska, but I slept so good on it, I kept it. Uh, I usually use the Big Agnes Q-Core SLX or the Thermarest uh, X-Lite. This thing's a little heavier. I think it's one pound, eight ounces, one pound, six ounces, but it was super comfortable. This is my sleeping bag. That's a 20 degree slick bag, regular wide. This is a Canon R5 with a 24 to 70 lens. I'll bring two extra batteries with that. This is a blow up pillow. These are just calls here. This is a Phelps bugle tube wind checker and then this is actually a container of pre-workout i keep that in my pack all the time especially if i get tired in the middle of the day 
booty hat, especially when it's super sunny or I'm behind, I'm blasting, just keep the sun off me. This is a med kit. In here I have Luco tape, uh, a lot of um, like butterfly stitches or whatever those are called, Steri strips, band-aids, uh, just standard stuff like that, nothing crazy, some super glue. MSR reactor, and I've got one of, the, uh, of these in there and then another small fuel canister. Spoon. This is a bath towel. Right here, this is an Anchor uh, Power Sport solar, solar panel. And this is a BioLite battery pack. I just started using this maybe a month and a half ago. Uh, I normally use an Anchor uh, battery pack. This is 20,000, whatever they say, what is that? MH, MAH, yeah, 20,000, 20, whatever that means. Um, but what I'll do is uh, I'll just leave this out in the sun and leave this plugged in all day, get it charged up. And then at night, I plug everything that I need to off these two ports, which is usually my inReach um, and my phone. Or if I'm, uh, sometimes I'll bring in earphones to listen to books or whatever to try to get to sleep. Um, but my inReach and my phone, I'll charge off of this throughout the night. Then I'll plug this back in whenever I need to during the day. Uh, this is a relatively inexpensive charger or solar panel, excuse me. Inside this, I have uh, the cords and then there's two ports. Um, I think I've had this five years and it's still working. So cross your fingers, it lasts uh, sixth year. Uh, these are the Kafaru uh, game bags. This is a set of uh, the hybrids. Um, I might throw one or two extras in there just in case they're not super heavy. This is a kind of an odd gorilla pod looking thing. I think it's by Joby, but a lot of times I'll put my phone up and put it on like time lapse, setting up my camera or setting up uh, my shelter. If I'm trying to video something on my own, breaking down an animal, I'll use this. But the time lapses are cool with it. Um, and then, you know, if you want to get a group photo with you and your buddy, it's handy. It's not super heavy. This is a TNK bino harness. Um, what I have in here is the SIG 5K rangefinder on this side. This is the new one with the archery upgrade. These are like a Noctavid 10 by 42s. In the back, I just have um, some, actually I keep cash in there all the time, but uh, Taito blades, some knives, aqua tabs. And then over here, I'll have my backup release. I've got a backup headlamp, ba uh, battery, um, backup battery for my range finder, just things like that. Zamberlin 2092 boots. Backpack logistics food pack for the day and then a peak refuel dinner. So it's pretty much what I take on any backpack hunt more or less this time Like I said, we're getting packed in. I'm just gonna add a few things, but this is gear I've really really used for a long time everything but that bio light it's worked really well for me